All the focus is on Kang right now. Kang the Conqueror, Prime Kang, He Who Remains, Immortus. It's all on Kang. But it is still up in the air whether or not Kang is going to be more than a one-phase villain. Is he going to span multiple MCU phases like Thanos did? We don't know yet. But one thing Marvel has proven, there is always something bigger and badder lurking in the shadows. Welcome everybody, Jimmy or Chaos, and today we're going to take our focus off of Kang and we are going to put it on Galactus. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Thank you for all the support on the channel launch. To everybody that's commenting, liking, uh, putting those notifications on so you see an upload every single day. I see you. I do. We've, we've got some big things planned for not only the channel, but for the subscribers as well. So thank you for joining uh, the Chaos Multiverse. And like I said, Galactus. Now, we don't know what's going on right now, but if I just had to off the cuff tell you how I think this is going to play out over the next two to three phases, I think Kang is going to be involved a lot. We, we already know he's going to be the main villain of Ant-Man uh, Quantumania. We uh, can probably guess he's going to make an appearance in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And who knows after that, because there's so many different variants of Kang. We're probably going to get Kang the Conqueror. We're probably going to get another good version of Kang. Iron Lad is another option. That was a young Kang that decided he wanted to do things the right way. And he actually launched the Young Avengers, which that could be the segue into that. It's crazy. It's crazy to think about, but... Marvel needs to be layering their bad guys. That's what they do. We haven't even heard of Doctor Doom yet, right? A lot of people think he could be a multi-phase villain. And then you, of course, have Galactus. We will get the introduction of the Fantastic Four eventually. We'll probably get the inter introduction of the Silver Surfer. And what does all that lead to? Uh, Galactus. I don't think there's a bigger bad right now that I can think of that and our superheroes from all these different uh, timelines could go up against the devourer of worlds. So let's talk about Galactus. Let's break down the eater of worlds, the devourer of worlds. One of the most legendary villains in comic book history, despite hardly any uh, appearances in movies. Everybody talks about Galactus. And now that the Marvel multiverse is upon us, I think it's inevitable that he comes to the big screen sooner or later. After all, the Fantastic Four and the X-Men, they are coming. Like I said, Marvel wants to keep the MCU hype up. Yeah, you do that with Galactus. So I want to take a deep dive into the character and give you a total breakdown. Who he is, where'd he come from, how much of a threat he actually poses to the Marvel Universe. And you guys, let me know if you want to see Galactus on the big screen. And let's start at the beginning. Galactus first appeared in March of 1966 in Fantastic Four issue number 48, but has since become a villain with pretty much the entire Marvel Universe. According to interviews with Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, they wanted to create this villain that broke the mold of traditional villains and was truly intimidating in every single way. They wanted him to have godlike powers, but didn't want him to be the stereotypical villain just looking to destroy the world for fun, which gave them this massive idea for a massive creature that just consumes entire worlds for energy. It's a snack. <laughs> Jack Kirby also later said he was inspired by the Bible when he first made a creature this big and intimidating. I'll let you guys break that down how you want. So, following his introduction in Fantastic Four, fans were constantly writing into Marvel. They were asking for him to return. He made brief cameos in Thor and Daredevil, and then he returned in the Fantastic Four series, and he really fleshed out the character. And according to Jack Kirby again, Galactus was never meant to return after his initial appearance, but because the fans attached to him so much, they loved him so much, he was brought back time and time again, and eventually he became one of the main villains in the entire Marvel Universe. So who is Galactus? Well, you may not know this, he was actually a human man, he was, who became a cosmic entity and now travels the galaxy consuming planets for energy. Now as a mortal man, he lived in the universe that predated the Big Bang, but following that universe's demise, he decided to merge with the sentience of the universe to become what we know his, as today. Galactus, the big bad guy, the guy that eats the worlds. He's massive, he's insanely powerful, and he's the oldest living thing in the Marvel universe. So by consuming his planets, 
he utilizes the power cosmic, which allows him to have multiple powers. I mean, telekinesis, teleportation, force fields, the creation of life, if that's actually considered a power, I, I think it's kind of above that, and even resurrection. So if for some reason he died, he can bring himself back. Yeah, you're, you guys get where I'm going here with the bad guy behind the bad guy behind the bad guy. Let's stack Kang, and then Doctor Doom, and then Galactus. Now, despite having a popular visual appearance, Galactus cannot be perceived by most mortal beings. Instead, every species perceives Galactus the way that they can comprehend. That's often as something similar to their own race's gods. Now, it's worth noting that while he was originally made as a supervillain, and he's definitely a killer, he's a killer of worlds, he isn't, strictly speaking, evil. He ventures around the galaxy, consumes planets, yes, but it's indiscriminately. He doesn't have an agenda or a certain method for choosing who he consumes. He does it for fuel. Now, throughout the years, Galactus has appeared as a hero a couple times. I know, it's shocker, but he did. It's just often just because he's in the right place at the right time, and it's not really because he truly cares what mortal beings are doing to each other. He is completely above the mortal world, and he could care less about it, which is what makes him so dangerous. Thanos had an agenda, a huge agenda to balance the cosmic universe. Galactus doesn't care. He literally does not care. There aren't any other characters that I can think of in the Marvel Universe like that. They all have a driven motive or agenda. He doesn't. So, what about the movies? Well, he did appear in Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, but I think most people, they may want to forget that one. Now, we do know the Fantastic Four are going to be introduced to the MCU. They may have already, ha it may have already happened. Spoiler alert, Loki, secret ship. Anyway, we do know it's coming. And uh, with how large scale the MCU is getting in Phase 4, I wouldn't be shocked at all if Galactus is introduced as the franchise's new big villain. And that could be done post credit scenes, teased like Thanos was, built up over a decade. You guys know the Infinity Saga was heavily pushed for by Thanos, and without a big main bad person, the franchise suffers. It does. And what better way to one-up Thanos, which is hard to do, but bring in someone like Galactus, a world eater who doesn't give a crap about how many people he kills or what he leaves in his wake. Now, it may be difficult to bring a character like this to the big screen and do him justice, I know. There's a reason he only appears rather sparingly in the comments, and with a character this massive and powerful, it could be easy for audiences to actually get desensitized to him and not really care anymore, which is what happened with the Transformers. So... We'll have to see. They have to do it right. But with everything we've seen so far, I have confidence that Marvel can pull this off. And just to clarify, it is not confirmed that Galactus will appear at all in the MCU, but I think it's likely. I really do. Extremely likely. They need their big uh, baddie. And with the Fantastic Four and the X-Men joining the fray, I think this is the perfect time to bring this cosmic entity into the mix. And there you have it, my friends. That is a deep dive into Galactus. Let me know. Do you think it makes sense? Do you think he could be the one behind all of the others? Do you think it's Kang? I mean, we, we could eventually see Prime Kang, which obviously is a formidable, formidable villain. You guys let me know, what you, or Dr. Doom. You guys let me know what you think. Thank you for all the support, and I'll see you soon. Check out the videos on the screen before you go.